Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you about image collection. By this process you can collect an image from Landsearch or Sentinel. Okay. For image collection you have to write as a variable then just give image collection. This is a variable name. Okay. You can write anything on here. Then uh, now for now if you want a uh, line set 9 or line set 8 just uh, search the data as a uh, land set 9 line set 9 okay so this is the image there is a dr one top of the atmosphere reflectance clicking on it you can see uh, the description box here is the code for collecting the Landsat 9 datasets. Okay, you can see here the bands, image properties, and something in terms of use. So, for collecting the image, you have to use ee.image collection. Okay, and this is the Landsat and the 9 top of the atmosphere. Okay, just copy it, then paste on here. Okay. Paste it. After that, you have to use some filter. Like uh, first of all, you have to know uh, what image you want. Okay, so uh, in which area you want. Now for that, you can go for Earth Explorer, where you can collect some data. Now Earth Explorer, you can see here. So now I want to collect some data about. Uh, Sundar one okay so this region from here okay I give that then some date okay this is the date I go to the data search land search land set level one and set nine such so as a result So there are some images in here. Okay, you can see that. So this is the image, and you can see the path row of the image, and the date is uh, 24 December 2022. Okay, now if you want to collect uh, this portion or uh, this area, just uh, here uh, write as uh, dot filter date. So we have to give some date range. Um, uh, so for giving the date, we have to use the bracket. So we have to use for date range. We have to use a quote, single quote or double quote. Now I'm writing as 2022 10 01 then comma. We will quote 2023 31st. Okay, so this is the date. After that, we have to uh, write as a dot filter bracket ee dot filter dot eq then you have to give the path and row for path uh, if you search it uh, here and image properties so you have to know this id also for searching anything so this is target wrs path just copy it and for row, you can see that's our target WRS row. Okay, now paste uh, within quotation, paste the WRS path, and uh, what the path is about 138, and this is a 45. So with the comma and write as 138. 
then same things we you can copy it and paste it so we target here change as a row and the row is uh, 45 so write as 45 plot to 0 45 okay then for cloud write as a dot salt packet so basically the cloud is uh, this cloud cover okay just copy it and uh, within quotation write as cloud cover dot first and give a parenthesis and close the statement okay so this first parenthesis used for to salt list cloudiness image okay now then give the visualization parameter it is very sorry, variable this para within curly bracket we have to give the branch so not to capital bands within square bracket you have to give the branch name so basically the branch name if you see it is a band the band name is b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 so if you want to see it on a false color then you have to give the b5 b4 and b3 for the near infrared red and green okay how close it first is the b right as b5 b5 comma green coat b4 then comma b3 okay so i'm giving the band name then comma minimum is a zero then comma maximum basically it is a ref so the reflectance so i'm giving it from five then close the sentence then write as a map dot center object within parentheses you have to write as a image collection so basically it is uh, this image collection you can copy the name also here from here okay then give the comma and we have to set the zoom level as a 7 8 anything else that you want so then close the sentence then for display the map we have to write as a map dot add mirror in parentheses we have to give the this name in its collection okay copy it paste it in here then comma that go through the visualization parameter so write as this error then comma for clearing just write as fcc now close it then run Now you can see the image of a solar run area in a standard false color composition. So this is the image. So by using the image collection, you can get any image of a Sentinel or Landsat. Just uh, do like this, the code right as this, then you can get any image from Google Earth Engine. In the next video, we will learn about image collection by using boundary. 
Till then. Thank you.